The situation in Crimea is escalating rapidly as reports come in of Ukrainian drone attacks on the Russian-occupied peninsula. The conflict between Ukraine and Russia has been ongoing since 2014, when Russia annexed Crimea, but the recent uptick in violence has sparked fears of a wider war. In this video, we'll take a closer look at what's been happening in Crimea and discuss what Ukraine might have to do to retake it. So sit tight and buckle up, because this is going to be a bumpy ride. The recent conflict between Ukraine and Russia has seen a dramatic escalation in violence, including Ukrainian drone attacks on the Russian-occupied peninsula of Crimea. On Wednesday, the Russian Defense Ministry claimed that it had thwarted a massive Ukrainian drone attack, shooting down six strike unmanned vehicles with air defense systems and disabling four more with electronic warfare. This is following a series of suspected drone attacks along the border with Ukraine and deep inside Russian territory, including one unmanned aircraft of Ukrainian design that crashed near an oil facility just 60 miles from Moscow. As we reported in our latest video, that Russia has reported several incidents involving drones allegedly targeting civilian infrastructure. The Ukrainian government has denied any involvement in those attacks, instead accusing Russia of using the situation to justify further aggression. So make sure to go and watch that video right after this one. Let's move on. The conflict between Ukraine and Russia began in 2014, when Russia annexed Crimea and has been ongoing ever since. In December of that year, Russia said six of its military personnel were killed in what it said were Ukrainian drone attacks on air bases deep inside Russian territory, including one base where Russian strategic nuclear bombers are stationed. The situation has remained tense ever since, with sporadic outbreaks of violence and political turmoil in both countries. The recent uptick in violence has brought the long simmering conflict to the forefront once again. Russia has been accusing Ukraine of escalating the situation, while Ukraine accuses Russia of aggression. This isn't the first time which Ukraine has been attacking Crimea, and the Ukrainian attacks were a series of incidents in attempting to regain control over Crimea. Let's take a short deep dive into the history of the attacks on Crimea during the invasion. In February of last year, shortly after the start of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, Ukrainian forces launched a series of attacks on Russian military installations in Crimea. These attacks included strikes on naval bases, airfields, and radar stations. On February 25, Ukrainian drones targeted a Russian ammunition depot, which caused a massive explosion. On the same day, Ukrainian naval vessels tried to enter the Kerch Strait, but were repelled by the Russian Navy. On February 26, Ukrainian forces reportedly attacked a Russian military communications center. Then on March 1st, Ukrainian armed forces claimed responsibility for a missile attack that destroyed a Russian military convoy in the north of Crimea, resulting in several Russian soldiers' deaths. Ukrainian officials stated that the attack was in retaliation for Russian shelling of Ukrainian territory. The recent drone attacks on Crimea have left the world on edge, with the tensions escalating rapidly. It was reportedly carried out by Ukrainian forces, who sent six strike unmanned vehicles to target Russian military bases in the area. Russian air defense systems were able to shoot down six of the drones, while electronic warfare disabled another four. This successful defense shows the advanced technology and capabilities of the Russian military. The attack has caused concern among Ukrainian authorities, who have denied yet again any involvement in the incident. Despite the denial, Russia remains convinced of Ukraine's responsibility, with the Kremlin stating that it does not believe the Ukrainian claims. The latest attack follows a series of suspected drone strikes by Ukrainian forces, both along the border with Russia and deep inside its territory. These attacks have resulted in causalities among Russian military personnel and have further strained their relations. As we mentioned earlier, in 2014 Crimea was annexed by Russia after their invasion. Nearly nine years later, Zelensky has the disputed territory in his sights in the wider war between them. President Volodymyr Zelensky has recently said Crimea is our land, our territory. 
Zelensky has also stated that Ukraine will never recognize Russia's annexation of Crimea and will continue to work towards regaining control of the territory. He has called on the international community to support Ukraine in its efforts and to maintain the pressure on Russia. He also emphasized that Ukraine is not only fighting for its territorial integrity, but also for the principles of democracy and freedom. He criticized Russia's aggression towards Ukraine and expressed hope that the international community would unite to support Ukraine's sovereignty, which included its need of support from the United States, including military and financial aid. He noted that the US is a key partner in the fight against Russian aggression and its support would send a strong message to Russia. According to sources, Ukraine will face significant challenges in its attempts to retake Crimea, including a lack of military capability compared to Russia, limited support from its Western allies, and the potential for a devastating conflict. Some experts suggest that Ukraine's best course of action may be to focus on economic and political pressure on Russia rather than military action. Despite these challenges, Zelensky has expressed optimism about Ukraine's ability to eventually regain control of Crimea. He has stated that Ukraine will never give up, and their allies must continue to support Ukraine in its quest for territorial integrity. Ukraine wishes to retake Crimea, and it would have to make significant military and political moves. Militarily, Ukraine would need to significantly improve its capabilities and coordinate with its Western allies to provide military aid and training. According to Ben Hodges, a retired U.S. Army Lieutenant General, Ukraine would require modern anti-tank and anti-aircraft weapons, along with drones and surveillance equipment, to counter Russian military technology. In addition to military action, Ukraine would have to take diplomatic measures to isolate Russia on the world stage. Hodges suggests that Ukraine should build an international coalition of countries to put pressure on Russia to withdraw itself from Crimea. They would also need to address issues within its own borders, such as corruption and political instability, to present a more united and stable front. Retaking Crimea will be easier said than done. The annexation of Crimea was a decisive move by Russia, and they have heavily fortified the peninsula with military infrastructure and troops. Ukraine would have to conduct a large-scale military operation to retake their region, which would come with significant causalities and potential escalation from Russia. Further, it is unlikely that Ukraine will receive direct military assistance from NATO, as they are not a member of the alliance. NATO has been providing Ukraine with military aid and training, but a direct military intervention in Crimea would be a significant escalation that could lead to a wider conflict. Before we go any further, I want to know your thoughts surrounding this development. Do you believe Ukraine should attempt to retake Crimea, or should they focus on defending their current territory? Why or why not? It is important to note that this is a complex and risky operation that requires extensive planning, resources, and coordination. Ukraine would need to have a well-trained and well-equipped military capable of conducting amphibious landings and sustained ground operations. Additionally, Ukraine would probably need the support of the international community to ensure that the operation is successful. One of the main challenges of retaking Crimea is the Russian military presence in the region. They have heavily militarized the peninsula, with an estimated 30,000 to 35,000 troops stationed there. This means that any attempt by Ukraine to retake its territory would likely result in a massive military confrontation. Ukraine would need to have a sizable navy and air force capable of providing air and sea cover for the operation. Additionally, Ukraine would need to secure the support of countries with black sea ports, such as Romania and Bulgaria, to use their ports as staging areas for the operation. Furthermore, Ukraine would need to consider the possibility of Russian countermeasures, such as cyber attacks, propaganda, and support from the separatists' movements in eastern Ukraine. Ukraine would need to have a comprehensive strategy for countering these measures and preventing them from destabilizing the country. Overall, the retaking of Crimea is not impossible. It is a difficult and risky undertaking that requires planning, 
resources, and international support. In conclusion, the situation in Crimea remains highly volatile with no clear solution in sight. The recent Ukrainian drone attacks and Russian military buildup in the region have only added to the tensions between them. Despite Ukraine's desire to retake Crimea, the task remains difficult as Russia has significantly strengthened its military presence. The international community has called for de-escalation of the conflict and urged both sides to engage in diplomatic talks. However, the recent exchanges of accusations and military posturing, and the statement from Zelensky, who laid the blame for the war solely at the feet of President Vladimir Putin, has made clear that a peaceful resolution is unlikely in the near future. Ukraine has also made efforts to join the NATO alliance, and that has been met with resistance from Russia, which has warned of consequence if Ukraine is granted membership. Meanwhile, the United States and its allies have pledged support for Ukraine and called on Russia to respect its territorial integrity. It remains to be seen how the situation will unfold, but it's clear that tensions between Russia and Ukraine are at an all-time high. The international community will need to monitor the situation closely and take steps to prevent further escalation. One question that lingers is whether a peaceful resolution can be achieved or if further military actions will be necessary. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe as we will continue to keep you updated on the developments regarding the war.